Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It is all about my pro tips for gorgeous lashes. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. First tip is to get a lash serum and use it religiously. This is your first key to having gorgeous lashes. As we get older, yes, our lashes aren't as full, they're not as long, we seem to struggle with our eyebrows and our eyelashes. And I used to do extreme lashes as an esthetician in my treatment room on the hour for the last 15 years. So I literally put one lash on, one synthetic lash on one natural lash, one millimeter away from the actual lid. I was such a perfectionist. I love doing it. I love seeing a new full lash set come to life. And it was really a passion of mine. I love doing it. And when my clients wanted to take a break from the lash extensions, which they would do every maybe four months or six months, or they were maybe going on a trip where they're gonna be in the water all the time, we would switch them over to a lash serum. And I started using and selling here in the studio, Grande Lash MD. I love it because it's not a drug, it's $65, it does work, my clients love it, so I started using it, and it lasts for three months. So I find it to be very affordable, and that's why I've kept it around all these years. It must be like five years I've been using this lash serum. So I will take some breaks, but again, you have to consistently use it. So I put it next to my toothbrush at night, and I put it on just like a liquid eyeliner, and I will watch my lashes grow. Now, lashes do have three different cycles of growth, so you can't expect to buy, use it and two weeks later be like, okay, where are my lashes? You have to stay consistent. You have to keep up with it. You can take a break and then go back to it. I love it. I love using this. I see a big difference. So if you want to have beautiful lashes that are fluttery and make you look absolutely just beautiful, make sure you are investing in a lash serum. you have your lashes beautiful and long you want to curl them so this was another procedure that I used to do in the treatment room was a lash basically it was called lash lift and I had a more modern way of perming the lashes so I'd use a silicone pad on the actual lid when it was closed pull the lashes back put the solution at the base and then you would have them for like six weeks four to six weeks depending on your lashes were up it was amazing it totally changed my client's eyes because you could see the lashes. Same thing with the lash curler. So if you're not wanting to invest in having a lash lift, you can go into a, a little curler, very easy and expensive, or a heated eyelash curler. And the reason why I do like the heated eyelash curler and came out with my own was because a lot of women don't have strong lashes that you can crimp and put stress on. So I wanted them to be able to have an alternative, which is a heated eyelash curler. So you can put on the mascara, you can mold the lashes with the heat and they stay up all day. Now you might say, well, I don't really have any lashes. Right, well, I don't either when they're just pinned straight. When I look in the mirror, it's like straight as an arrow. And I'm like, do I have any lashes? I take my eyelash curler and then I'm like, there they are. I just opened up my eyes. I just like looked like I slept three more hours than I did. So investing in a lash curler, a heated eyelash curler, or doing maybe more of a treatment with your esthetician and doing a lash lift. I can't stress this enough, ladies, cleaning your lashes. And that doesn't mean just taking an eye makeup remover pad or taking a makeup wipe because those do not work. This is a great, let me take off some of my, my mascara or my eyeshadow, what have you, or you just maybe wore false lashes and you're like, let me just take off any residual before I do a double cleanse. Double cleanse the eyes. Take a beautiful, you know, I love the Elemis Rose Balm Cleanser. Take that and you will work your eyes, right, with the oil and you will work your whole face, breaking down all of the makeup, the oils, etc. Then you'll go back with your regular cleanser and you're going to do the same thing you're going to do a double cleanse you have to cleanse the eyes you have to cleanse around the eyes that's why the b5 exfoliating pads are great after you cleanse your face use these on the lids so you can really exfoliate the lid 
clean the lids. You don't want debris, you don't want makeup buildup, you don't want to have mascara sitting at the base of your lashes. I've seen it so many times with my clients. They've come in for makeup tutorial or makeup lessons, and I'm like, did you do, you, do you still have mascara on or do you still have makeup on? And they're like, well, I think I got it off. Okay, that is going to cause problems for your eyes. It's very unhealthy to have makeup sitting there, mascara sitting there, waterproof makeup sitting there for days and weeks and thinking like, oh, I, I kind of cleaned it off or I feel like I cleaned it off. Make sure you're double cleansing your eyes, going back over with an eye makeup remover pad, removing all of the traces of makeup. Very, very important. <laughs> Mascara is not a one size fits all. You have to find the right formulation for your eyes, the right brush. Now you don't have to stick with one mascara. You can have one mascara for the top lashes, one mascara for the bottom. Maybe you do black mascara on the top and brown on the bottom. Or you use the first swipe is going to be something like this Lancome primer first for your lashes and then you go back over with your regular mascara. I think that's a really nice to really customize and understand what your lashes do best with. Do they do best with a small little wand? Do they do better with a bigger fluffier wand? Just really experiment to see how you can get the best payout with your mascara, whether you're using brown mascara, waterproof mascara, black mascara. You really have to experiment and see what your lashes can do with different formulations, different brushes, but that is a very big key to having really beautiful lashes. This experiment with drugstore mascaras, you can experiment with more of luxury mascaras and see how your eyelashes come alive. False lashes, ladies. So if all else fails and you wanna have those instantaneous, gorgeous lashes, just opt for some false lashes. Now there's a couple different options I wanted to talk to you about. You know that I love the Ardell 420s. I buy them in four packs on Amazon, or if these are at the drugstore, I'll buy them there too. Fringy, small, not long, they're not shiny, they don't look fake. These are beautiful, a staple for your makeup bag because once you master putting them on, they are not hard. I just use the iDuo that I get from the drugstore. You will, this is a game changer, okay? This is a real game changer. So that's really important. Also combing your lashes. This comes, we have a little spoolie in here for your brows and lashes. This comes in my essential makeup brush kit and brush your lashes, make them fan out. So if you feel like, oh no, they look a little clumpy, just, just brush through them. Um, I've seen some people use a pin, like a safety pin to comb. Please don't do that. They do have combs that you can buy at the drugstore that are little baby combs that comb out your lashes. But also, if you wanna take it a step further, now get excited, ladies, because I know you can do this. I bought this at the beginning of the whole situation last year, 2020, Lashify. I wanted to feel better about myself when I was waking up in the morning because I was like, why do I look so tired? Like so drained and I'm like, but I'm sleeping. So I bought Lashify. So these are DIY lash extensions for your lashes. So amazing. Look at this little kit, right? So it has everything you need in here and these are called, these gossamers, they're little wispy, they come in different millimeters. So it took me a little bit to kind of figure out their, their like levels of lashes. They are so beautiful and they are so easy. You have to watch all of their little um, tutorials on Facebook. They do all these lives and gorgeous. But what's so interesting is that they take the little cluster of lashes and they're applying it underneath. So you put on this like mascara, it's really the bonding, right? Then you take the lash and you, with a, uh, with a little tweezer and it just sticks right underneath your lashes. Beautiful, you don't see a line, they're not heavy, they last for days, these girls get weeks out of them. I'm like, oh my gosh, so I love them. I haven't put them on today because I had false lashes on, I did a beautiful makeup tutorial for you, but these are so fun to use and they're so easy because you're just putting them on underneath, you don't have to do anything on the top. So I really love Lashify also. If you're wanting to take your lashes to the next step, you want something fun, you wanna be able to control it. You don't wanna to have to go to a salon or you wanna just kind of play around with your lashes and you want them to look like a pro did them. So that is a great way. Ladies, I hope you experiment with lashes, a serum, get some false lashes going, Get try Lashify. 
do all of these things and really, really zone in on this one aspect of your beauty that will be a huge game changer, not only for you, but when people look at you. So until my next video, I'll see you later.